Ah, oh, yes. Now it is clear. <laughs> so, uh, what's up, guys? How are you? Uh, so, we have those binoculars here, which are actually night vision binoculars. So, a couple of years ago, you might remember, we tried some uh, military-grade uh, binoculars, which was, it was amazing. We could see the Milky Way, you could see uh, the comet, uh, Neowise, amazing. It's, it was fantastic. Day. It was amazing. But it was about, I think, 2000 or $3,000, which is insane. A little out of the price for most astrophotographers, I'll tell you that. So we were trying to, uh, were wondering if we could try more affordable ones, like more affordable night vision goggles to see if we could actually see stuff in the sky. Right. So we're going to open up this box and we're going to see what's inside. And then we're just going to take, you know, a little trip to the desert just to see what we can see. Do a little night viewing. Can we see the Milky Way? Can we see deep sky objects? I don't know. We're going to find out. So those ones are by Creative XP and we will know if those are useful for Ask astrophotographers. For Let's go. So very quickly, what's in the box? The binoculars come in a nice hard case with a handle and it opens with a zipper. Inside we have the binoculars, a cable for the TV, an SD card reader for both a computer and a phone, a USB cable, a neck strap, a cleaning cloth, and the manual. The binoculars are very light and feel super nice to the touch. Everything that you need comes in the box, including the micro SD card. The only thing that is not included are the eight batteries that you need to power it on. Here are the exact specs if you'd like to know. And now, let's go try them out under the stars. So the interesting thing about these binoculars are that you don't look at them like this, you actually look at them like this. Which is really interesting, because you would think that you would want to look through this side like regular binoculars. But yeah, it's like a little TV screen in here, which is really cool. And then here, at the near one of these um, eyepieces, kind of, you have a cover here. So this cover goes in if you're looking at bright stuff. Uh, but for us, we will remove this at night and observe um, the sky without this cover up here. And then you can also focus using this knob here, which is great. And uh, there is four buttons on the top, well, five. One is the power button, one is the IR button, which is to activate the night vision. One is mode, which uh, switches between photos and videos because you can actually take photos and videos. Um, there is actually an SD card in here, which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to actually film with this tonight. And you can actually zoom um, with this button here. And lastly, there's a snap button, which you can use to take a picture or start recording. Okay, so I'm going to try to turn it on right now. The sun just went down, but it's still very bright outside. I'm leaving the cap on over here. So I'm going to hold this power button for three, I think, or three or four seconds. And right now I'm just using it as a regular uh, pair of binoculars, kind of. So I'm looking at Dahlia now, trying to film me stably. And then I'm looking at a telescope over here. Yep. So right now, this acts as simply just a uh, kind of like a camera or a regular binoculars. I think this is really useful for people like us to spot clouds coming in, like high clouds. And I'm really hoping we can actually see the clouds with this because usually what we do is uh, when we suspect clouds to be rolling in, we actually take a time lapse with our DSLR camera pointing towards uh, an area of the sky. Uh, and with this, I'm hoping we can just aim at it and see clouds coming in. All right, guys, so it is dark now. So it is time to try these night vision goggles uh, right away. And I am in filming mode, so I'm going to go ahead and punch the uh, snap button here so I can record. There we go, it's recording. And um, let's see, so right now I am not in the uh, IR mode, so I'm going to activate by pressing IR, which is going to activate the night vision. And there's three modes, one, two, and three. I'm guessing three is the most powerful one. So let's look at you for now. Oh, you're very bright. There you go. And then, so here around us, we have uh, the cars passing by over there. We have the telescope here. So I can see the scope really nice. 
very very nice wow like with my eyes i cannot see anything with this i can see everything all the cables all the, the cases everything wow nice and let's look at the stars so first we have i think saturn or jupiter there oh, let me focus just like a camera very simple by turning this over here now we're focused and you can see the planet over there very nice and another one here and let me try to look at the milky way which is what i really want to see because with the other ones are like the three thousand uh, dollar military ones you can see the milky way really nice but with this honestly i don't think we will but let's try anyway um okay so the problem is this is very zoomed in already I am not in zoom mode, but it is already very... Uh, the field of view is already very zoomed in, so I don't think we'll see the Milky Way. I mean, I see a bunch of stars, but... I see a bunch of stars, but you can't really see the Milky Way itself. I see a cluster there. So you can see the stars really nice, you just cannot see uh, the Milky Way itself. Now, let me try to find a satellite and we'll see if we can spot it with these binos. Actually, I see one over there. I'm not sure if it's starting or something else, but you can really, really see it really nice with these binos. Wow, super cool. Hello. I spent some time looking for a bright object like the Andromeda Galaxy. Sadly, I could not find it, even though I was convinced that I was star hopping properly. Then I aimed at the Pleiades. It was nice because they appeared very easily. Here is a picture taken straight from the binoculars. I aimed at the Orion Nebula, which I found easily. I was surprised to realize that the IR, so the night vision feature, was in fact useless for the sky itself as the nebula looked even better with the IR turned off. Lastly, I spotted some clouds, which is what I was actually hoping for. Those clouds were not visible to the eye, and they were very simple to spot with the binoculars. So, what are some pros and cons for astrophotographers getting these binoculars? So, for the pros, those are amazing if you want to spot high thin clouds or any clouds in general um, sometimes you're just imaging all night and clouds come out of nowhere and ruin your images and you have no idea so those ones are very very useful if you want to quickly spot clouds from anywhere that's great happens all the time and then it's also really good for when you're doing astrophotography out in the wild because you can easily spot wildlife while you're out there um, it's a really good sense of security because you want to know what's around you, you know, especially in the dark, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like coyotes, spiders, scorpions. Ooh. Anyway, and then um, another pro for those binoculars is um, you can spot M45, for example, the Pleiades. You can spot planets. You can spot, um, what else, uh, satellites, even um, the Orion Nebula. And so, you know, a few of the main deep sky objects. Right. And on the other hand, when you're using regular binoculars, you can see the same thing. Yeah, you can see those as well with like regular astro binoculars uh, easily. So you don't actually need uh, night vision goggles for that. So um, the main issue here is that you cannot see, uh, for example, the Milky Way um, with those ones because the, the field of view is so narrow. Uh, if we compare it to the military grade one, you know, the two to three thousand dollars goggles, those were really impressive because you could actually see the Milky Way like super easily. Um, but those ones, the the field of view is too too small, right. and also I don't think it would pop out uh, so through the binos. If you're expecting that, that's not what you would find with these binoculars. All right. So what is the final word on these night vision goggles? So I would say that at the very least, this is a really good gadget to have in your car just, you know, to see the clouds coming in and also to spot wildlife. But don't make it your primary mission with these goggles to see anything like deep sky objects. Like that's not the point of these. Also, you can film um, and take pictures. So it's, it's kind of cool to have. And uh, yeah, so you will have uh, you will find the, the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. 
and we'll see you guys next time for some more videos. Thanks guys. guys.